And we've got a few more quilting and accessory tips to share with you to help you sew better. So we are sewing on the Janome 3160 QDC and it comes with the quilting accessory kit, mm -hmm. which is really nice. And that includes the walking foot and then the quarter inch foot. And these are two really essential feet yeah. for quilting success. So first of all is our quarter inch foot with guide. And we love this, and this is probably the one that we use the most on our machine, any machine, um, because you can run that seams or the edge of your fabric right along that guide and get your perfect quarter inch. So, so, so handy. Yeah, and what I love about this is a lot of the machines you buy don't come with a quarter inch foot. So true. Yeah, or a walking foot. So the fact that this does is a really great value. It is really nice. And then, our next thing is the walking foot, and this is also super essential, really helpful for sewing through multiple layers and also great for quilting. So it helps feed the fabric through evenly because there's feed dogs built into the foot. So the top feed dogs on the foot and then your bottom feed dogs on your machine help pull those layers through all at the same time. And then you can also snap on the adjustable metal guide and then that helps you line up your stitches. So if you pop that onto the back, you can adjust it and you can line that up with your previously stitched lines to get perfectly stitched and spaced lines. Mm -hmm. Perfect for straight line quilting or any parallel lines you're doing across your project. Yes, so those are two really helpful tools for quilting. So the next one is the ditch quilting foot that we mentioned. We use that on the table runner, and it is an optional accessory, but if you do a lot of stitching in the ditch, I think you're gonna wanna pick this one up. Um, it helps you get perfectly placed ditch stitching, and the guide in the middle glides along the seam and helps you get those stitches right in the seam. So really helpful for that. And one tip that we wanted to share is you wanna stitch on the low side mm -hmm. of your seam, so you can even feel it when you run your finger over it, it's a little bump there. So you wanna be on the low side, that's gonna give you better, better results. Mm -hmm. And then our last thing is our straight stitch plate. So the normal stitch plate has a wider opening because it has to accommodate for um, the wider stitches like the zigzags and decorative stitches. Mm -hmm. But if you are having trouble with those fabrics being pulled down into the machine or they're getting eaten, then you might want to try the straight stitch plate. It has a smaller opening, and this also has a matching foot. And so you can only use this with a straight stitch, but this will help you to not have that fabric get pulled yeah. down in. So we're gonna pop this on the machine. So we've already taken our regular uh -huh. stitch plate off. And again, this is an optional accessory, yeah. but something that can really help you. Yeah, so while Beth screws that plate in, we just wanted to share a little bit about how this is useful in your sewing. So if you're like me, you sew a lot of things like triangle squares, or you may be you know, doing shapes like this. And my points always get pulled down under the machine. It just happens when you're sewing with like tiny points and triangles. This plate, because it doesn't have the large hole in the middle for, you know, to accommodate the swing of the needle, prevents the machine from pulling the tips of your fabric in. And then the bottom of the foot um, is a little more solid so that it pushes everything down and keeps things even as you're sewing. So this is really a game changer if you're sewing a lot of these fabrics and or you have trouble with this on your machine, which I know I definitely have. <laughs> yes, and one note you'll want to know is that you can only sew with a straight stitch in the center needle position on this. Otherwise, you're probably going to break a needle. Yeah. So. <laughs> So we can sew one of these and show you how this works. And it works really well. So like Lindsay said, this has a large surface area on the bottom, so it really gives you good contact too with your pieces. So that helps also. So you get just a really nice smooth start and no fabric is getting <laughs> pulled down into your machine. Yep, oh, that's so great. Yeah. Definitely going to be using this moving forward. 